black and Asian. There has to be a bridge because I want you to know something right now. Whether you're black, whether you're Muslim, whether you're a part of the LGBTQ community, whether you are Latino, whether you are Jewish, we all suffer as victims from white nationalism and white supremacy. We all suffer that. So whether it was the killing that took place in the synagogue in Pittsburgh, or the murder that took place across the town in Church Christ, or if it was the murder that took place in the church in North Carolina, we all are victims of white structural racism, women included and everyone else. So we have to build bridges between our communities. So I want to say thank you for being here, and please express yourself. Hi everyone, I'm going to take my mask off, but please bear with me because I only have makeup on this part. <laughs> so everyone, my name is Xin Yuan, and thanks for um, Council Man Jones for giving me this opportunity for being here to represent our Asian community. I'm sorry, I have to start this speech with a very difficult, even uncomfortable opening. On, Mar on May 25th, in Minneapolis, an Asian American police officer was standing by as George Floyd died. He is complicit and responsible for what happened to our brother. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. So many of us feel shame about the role he played. We feel shame about the times that many Asians in this country have been silent. Yeah. I must acknowledge the tension the misunderstanding between black, brown, and the Asian communities has long existed. Yeah. Under white supremacy, they are calling us the modern minority. We hate it. We fucking hate it. Yeah. For many Asians, before or after they came to the States, no one taught them the history of the civil rights. Instead, they are brainwashed by the anti-blackness. The real people behind the stories in the history are purposely hidden from us. Despite that, we still have the history of Asians standing up, standing up in solidarity with black and brown people and the same black and brown struggles as our own. My brothers and sisters, I'm here today representing myself as your Asian sister, yeah. and so many brothers and sisters in Asia town, to call on you for a powerful solidarity. Yeah. In East Asian culture, Confucius philosophy has deeply rooted in our education community. One of them speaks about being in the middle. Don't be too sharp. Don't stand out. Don't get it wrong. It is great when it leads to people find their internal balance. But people practice this philosophy incorrectly. They remain silent in front of discrimination, racism, and xenophobia. They are sitting there and waiting for justice to come. But that's not how change works. We must be sharp to stand up to against what doesn't work for us and make our protest a revolution. and hate has 
no place in our community. That's right. My brothers and sisters, we Asian Tang community here are in this fight with you yeah. to demand the fullness of social justice, to demand the fullness of freedom, yeah. to demand investment in our community, yeah. to demand an end to systematic racism. Yeah. We, we love you. Thank you so much. Make some noise, sister, y'all. Make some noise, man.